Hey, what's up guys? Adam from Lazy Guy DIY, and we are back again in our school pod. And one thing we found, well, we have five different kids in here, and we have different classes, different things going on all at different times, and we need a little bit of separation. So thanks to my friends from DAP, I created this rolling divider here that has a chalkboard on one side, it has a whiteboard on the other, has a little storage on the bottom as well. But we use the Weld Wood products. They have a wood glue, they have a spray adhesive, and they have a contact cement. So I'll show you all that in the build here. But like I said, we want to have something that's a little personal but we also have a way for them to interact with it as well. So here's our whiteboard. Here's our chalkboard. And I'm going to show you how we made this thing. Check it out. So this entire project is anchored on a sheet of plywood that is 24 by 48 inches by half inch thick. And then I'm also using these panels that are blackboard and whiteboard. Those are about eighth inch thick, but I'm going to measure it here. It's a little more than three quarter inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down these pieces of one by four that are going to be my frame. And I'm going to rip them down to 48 inches. I'm going to fire up a dado here. Don't worry if you don't have a dado. I'm just going to show you my steps that I did here, but I'm cutting a groove. I'm going to pass it through once this time, flip it over, pass it again, because again, my cut is a little bit more than three quarter of an inch thick. Okay, wait. I am telling you this is an easy build and then all of a sudden I start pulling out a several hundred dollar dado stack and putting that in a table saw and cutting those grooves into the stretchers. Don't worry about it. I promise you in the build plans that I have on my website, they're free. I will show you exactly what you need to do. All you need to do is use pocket holes in that sheet of plywood that's in the middle and then attach it right to the frame. So not a problem. This is just an extra step that I did. Don't freak you out. Back to the build. With that settled, we're gonna rip some sheet goods down here. This is the whiteboard blackboard, and then I have some underlayment as well. We're gonna cut these down to 23 and 5 eighths. Don't freak out, that is a fraction. But what we're gonna do now is use our DAP Weldwood product here. This is our spray adhesive. What I'm gonna do is spray it down on one side, let it get a little bit tacky, and then I'm gonna spray it on the other piece that I'm gonna to attach to it here. That's the whiteboard and blackboard. So once I put these two together, it'll create a very tight bond. I'll clamp it in place, lay something on top here, and then let it sit for about two hours. One thing to keep in mind of is just pay attention to your temperature. If it's too cold, then you may wanna take it in some place where it's well ventilated and you can attach it there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm using another piece of one by four. This is gonna be our center tray. You don't have to use a router table to cut this groove in here. I just happen to do it because I like the look of it here, but if you can see, it's gonna be great for markers and any sort of chalk or anything else here. What I'm gonna do now is you can see it's clamped in the middle there. That's just a spacer between the blackboard and this wood paneling that I'm adding on the bottom. It's not attached permanently yet, but I'm gonna do my spray adhesive here again, and I'm gonna attach this wood paneling that looks a little bit like the wood paneling that may have been in your parents' or grandparents' extra room. Uh, maybe watch TV in there, but uh, that's sort of our throwback with our weld wood here. I'm also using another Weldwood product here. This is their wood glue from DAP, and I'm gonna be assembling the frame. That's our top piece. This should be sliding right in there. And then what I'm gonna do is grab our stretchers that are our one by fours that are 48 inches as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more wood glue again, and we're gonna assemble the frame. So just try to make sure that everything slides in. I cut mine just a little bit bigger, so we'd have a little bit of wiggle room, and then the glue would sure things up here. So once we get this assembled here, it'll all go into place. We'll squeeze it all together and then clamp it. Now you can see I have that center tray there. I add a little bit more of the DAP weld wood, wood glue. I'm attaching it in the middle, and then I'm just gonna clamp it in place and let it dry. All right, this next sequence here is gonna be an absolutely optional upgrade. I'm using a dowling jig to attach the divider to the base. You don't have to do this. You can use pocket holes instead. But what I'm gonna do is show you how I use the dowels here. What I did is I drilled the little holes. I have these little metal pieces that go in there with little sharp tips. I set those in and then I'll tap it here. And what it'll do is it'll mark my opposite board. And then I'll show you, I have little holes here on the opposite side. And that shows me exactly where I need to line up the dowling jig for the next holes. So once I have these all drilled, I'll add a little bit more of the DAP Weldwood wood glue. These will go in the hole. I'll put way too much like I did on this bottom one here. I'll have to clean it up at one point. But then I'll add a little bit more wood glue to the base, clean it up, and then we'll apply it here. It should just tap right into place. Again, you can use pocket holes here. I do recommend if you're gonna do pocket holes instead of this, that you wait to put the paneling on the bottom. That way you can cover those up, your pocket holes up, once you have everything attached. And that's fine, you can skip that step, that's not a problem. But for me, I just use dowels because I had it, why not? A little squeeze out there from the glue.
All right, so next we have, these are just a little bit of side panels made out of the same material as the base here. I'm just measuring to find exactly what the middle would be lined up with the one by fours that are for the frame here. So I had to do a little bit of mathing, everything lined up. I'm gonna use a little bit of a spacer here to show where those side pieces will be. And then I'm just gonna draw an angle and this is where everything's gonna meet up and kind of assemble. It's gonna be sort of like a, looks like a giant toolbox essentially, like an old traditional shape here. So I'm gonna mark those up. We're gonna put this up on our table saw and cut these angles. I have this nifty little sled here. You don't need that. You can use a miter saw. You can just do it on your normal table saw and you're good to go. So we cut those pieces. We're gonna add a little bit of wood glue here again and we're gonna attach it here. Now I am using a brad gun. You don't have to if you clamp everything in place, but if you can see here, I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna tack that first one in place here so I can adjust things. Get her just so, so everything looks good. And then, We'll go and do the same thing with the other side. And then I have pocket holes that I added onto the bottom of the base there that you saw before. And then I'll just add those pocket screws. They're just three quarter inch. I'm gonna clamp it up here, make sure everything's straight. And then I'm gonna add those pocket holes there to sure things up. So again, the brad nailer is just to hold things in place. You can see the real way to hold it is with those pocket hole screws again. So I'm gonna attach the sides here. This, I will use a brad gun, you'll see. You can use wood glue as well, but this is just to get it in place. Once the wood glue dries, the bond's tight enough that you don't have to worry about that anyway. All right, the last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna add this front here to the little storage section. As you see, I did have pocket holes that are in the bottom, just normal three quarter inch pocket holes. I'm adding my wood glue here. I'm gonna put this in place. And there is enough space that you can get a driver in there if you do need something you can use a little extender and you'll see but i'm going to attach those to the base there and then i do tack it i don't have it on camera i will tack the tops with a brad gun here just to make sure that everything is secure while it dries so there you go see me again here with the pocket holes attaching all that and then once this all dries the last thing you have to do is add casters on the bottom I'm gonna pre-drill, I'm gonna add the screws there. Just make sure that your screws are not longer than three quarter inch or they'll go right to the bottom there. So there is a little bit of space with the caster bottom, but make sure your screws are not longer than three quarter inch. And after you put them all on, you are finished. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this build. The full build plans are available on my website on lazyguydiy.com. And thanks again to our sponsor, DAP. That weld wood product is very reminiscent of the old wood paneling and how it was applied in homes. So this is an updated version of that. And we're using that to apply the whiteboard, blackboard, and then the paneling down the bottom. So thanks again to our friends from DAP. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel over there. And then if you really like me, watch this next video that is gonna happen down there. Thanks guys, I'll catch you on the next build.